Hello again. Welcome, guys. It's Brenda, my wee wee bone skittle. I forgot to show you something yesterday. And besides, I do want to come back and share a video with you guys. I'm trying to be active again on YouTube, and we can seem to be the best choice. <sighs> okay. And there's Jennifer back there. You can see her. <laughs> Yes, I do have a lot of dolls. These are just some of my collection. Just a little fraction. Okay, before I start rambling on, um, we, the grades, I teach grade seven, and we have woodshop. And in our woodshop, we have been working on, and as a teacher, I'm not the woodshop teacher, but I have to be present to help out, like, act as an EA. And we've been working on cutting boards. Look at this. This. <laughs> Isn't that a big cutting board? One of my students' job was to... Um, I, have, I have no idea... What kind of saw this is or where they go like this but they i there's a few different saws being used there was one we glued these pieces together clamp them together with glue until it completely dried and of course there's like glue globs like everywhere this is one two three four pieces of wood and the first and and it was like really long like long and so he had the, we, well, the teacher, if any of the students were too nervous to use the working saws, he would saw them in size, like this big. Um, and then it had to go, well, no, first it went through, I don't know, it's like a big table and you, it went through it. And it like saw like smooth the tops off and then you flip it and then you got to run it through the machine and it's smooth it and then you keep flipping them until it's like smooth and then he went to a different saw and um, my student did this one and he it, it was like a saw like this and you had to run it through now if you go too slowly you burn it and there's a few spots you missed and if you go too fast you um don't do a good job um i thought there was a little burn mark but you know what and then suddenly it turns purple so anyways um, I brought this home. I, the teacher gets one too. And, uh, but there's some edges that are still, like, rough. So, Francis let me borrow his. Now, I don't know if I want to do it in here. Because I know it's going to make a mess. But I do want to smooth it all out. But isn't this nice? And then apparently when you're done, you season this with oil, like cooking oil. Could be vegetable oil, canola oil, uh, EVOO, like olive oil, um, whatever oil you have. And you, <laughs> here's me, my first question I said, I said, what kind of varnish do you use on this? He's like, no, no, it's not a varnish, it's a like cooking oil. You put oil on it. And I'm like, oh, but isn't this nice? I'm so proud. I'm so proud to own this. So, I also want to share with you introduction, as some of you may or may not know. I do have um, Inuit baby, Inuit Inuk babies in my collection, basically Eskimos. Uh, <laughs> it's not politically correct to use that term anymore. But that's what it means. Right here I have Merdina Amethyst. Um, her name isn't Anuk. But I do have an outfit. An authentic 
any uh, clothing that would fit her. So um, she looks wonderful in it. But you know, oh, and I bought them special bottles um, with a polar bear or a seal. I forget. I should grab it. Yeah, I found it. This is my bottle I purposely bought for my Anak babies. It's a seal. And I love how it says snuggle on the back. It's, it's by Advent. But it's not glass. I did not um modify these yes i do have silicone and these are anti-colic but i don't know i may just take this out just for the looks i don't know i think i think i probably just uh, who knows what but i like them but anyways out of all of these things I made, um, like, um, like, as for, as for accessories, um, I do not have a stuffy that could be, like, an arctic animal stuffy. Um, I have, like, under the sea theme for Danielle, um, Little Mermaid is my favorite, um, Side note, my real son Eric is named after Prince Eric. <laughs> That's true. Little mermaid. But I finally found a seal, a stuffy seal. Look. Look how cute this is. Isn't it sweet? I bought this from AliExpress and it came like, you know, a normal um oh it's so soft it's so soft i love it but it was super inexpensive like two dollars <laughs> i can't pass that up but it's so sweet so i bought this for my inuk babies i have a couple i have katsuk and Margina can wear um is the size to wear the um inuk clothing that i have um, but, and I do have my Kenzo scope, Tassi, Tassi Kalak, but, um, I don't know where she is. She might be, I have so many dolls. And of course I have my Chio, which is Asian, but she could totally look in a as well um i don't want to pull her out but here she is <laughs> she's in my mess of babies oh my goodness they're so crowded this is my latest one the max sculpt by lorley eagles i was why i forget why oh i was checking i was trying to find a certain onesie but oh i named him leo Leo Devon and this is just these are most of my lowly eagles um the only ones who are not I have a lot more lowly eagles than this there's a few underneath um this is uh Ponette uh she's Cassie Brace but I forget what sculptor you know here's Chio the Kai sculpt this is Lily Eagles. That's the Anastasia by Olga Hour, my very first Sorry <laughs> I'm trying not to burp is basically. <laughs> but these are Lily Eagles, Lily Eagles, Lily Eagles. Um that's the Anastasia by Olga Hour, my very, very first well, after the Serenity, the Serenity was my very extreme first wannabe, but she is my first actual sculpt that I wanted. 
Um, I wanted this one mostly because he came with a belly plate and he was my very first belly plate baby with black hair too that I also love. So, but, oh, look at this. I meant to share this with you too. See if you could see. This is a gift from my EA. My, um, and I also taught her many years ago. So, so happy with a great teacher like you. I'm so happy she gave this to me. She gave this to me for like just no reason. It wasn't even any holiday. It wasn't a birthday or nothing. She said she saw it and she thought of me and she bought it and she gifted it to me. So I'm like, oh, thank you so much. So for now, I, I want to make a picture using this tissue paper so i haven't even got around to that so yeah that's how busy i'm in like i haven't been able to do much of anything but i do want to spend time with mardina look this is her painted hair oh by the way she was reborn by wendy of wimby dolls and same with max um, and I have a video of where I thought that the two of them could be twins. Here, let's see. Oh, look how cute she looks. Regina. Regina is named after one of my students I had, um, many years ago. She moved. And I asked her permission too, like, can I use your name? And she's like, of course. So here's Margina. And this is a Mark sculpt. I really love him because he reminds me of the Birdie and the Evie, which I also own the Evie. I don't think she's in the basket, though. No, she's around, just not there. But she might be over there. <sighs> so many dolls. Well, look at this guy. This he is also reborn by Wendy of Weeby Dolls, but look at his hair. Ah, so sweet, so sweet. So I own a lot of Weeby Doll babies, but unfortunately, I will no longer be able to buy from her anymore. <laughs> no that's that's another topic of conversation is um um but that's okay i own so many dolls and things as well i know so yeah he is so sweet but yes, I will no longer be able to get another baby doll. But that's okay. I own like so many of them anyway. So, and I'm not selling them. They're just too, too precious. I love this hobby. And it smells good. Because those Wonder Wafers. <laughs> so when you think of my little guy, I think he's so cute. I love him. He is the perfect addition to my collection. I really, really, really love him. So yes, guys, I hope that you're having a great day. Thank you so much for joining me again. And until next time, maybe tomorrow. Love you guys. Much time, guys. Bye. Bye, guys.